Welcome to Paint on Plastic with Lincoln Wright. Okay, back from lunch, had my little rage quit before. So uh, I thought now we can show you the absolute truth bomb because everything is available on my bench top here in front of me. So first one first, the, this one, like it'll work. And especially if you're in an environment where you have to use a water-based product with no fumes, you no know, defo, this, this works. I just don't lack the required patience to make it work, right? Especially just after having done the fast toxic versions. Uh, you know, very simply, I can tell I'm going with this one because it's just dip and go. Now, I even have it uh, stuck up inside there. You can tell I'm just, is it that I'm lazy or is it just because of my day job that I, I can't stand faffing about? But uh, the other one, man, ain't nobody got time for that. So I'm going to zoom straight into this and show you real time. Zoom in along. I hope it's clean. Yep, we're clean. So this is my quick dirty version is I'll just mash it in on the paper. Do halfway up to the finger. Let that start drying. Flip back over. I probably need another dip. Yeah. Small dip. Kaboom. Mash, mash. So that kind of makes it like a little bit of a skin sort of dealio. Flip. Thank you, Milk Top. Your services are no longer required. Are we dry enough? Now the cool thing is, right, even if you do accidentally, look, look closely in some of my photos, you'll totally see fingerprints there. Even if it's too quick and there is a little bit of a fingerprint in there. Yeah, there was a little bit of stickiness there. You can you can tap it out. There you go. Totally tapped out. And boom. So that this is like my, my, my day job version is totally this. Get it done, get it quick. And, and it's not about not being careful. It's nothing like that. It's just, you gotta save yourself, man, to, to, to get to the good parts. There's, um, there's a lot of stages to getting a model like this done. So we've got to protect ourselves, keep the mojo, keep the momentum moving forward, get it done in a nice timely fashion and, uh, you know, protect ourselves at all times, get stuff done. Alrighty, so that's, that's it. Uh, this one's the better one, so I'll do the close up with this. That's a lovely texture, we're good to go. So this one is the clear winner for me in terms of lack of patience, uh, moving quickly and just getting stuff done. The, the link, ain't nobody got time for that version. Would, this would be my winner for most things. But having said that, having the differences across the different products though is going to be very cool on this finished model because uh, the increased texture here, then the interim texture on this piece finished with the, uh, the finer texture on these lighter weight parts will make for a quite interesting, interesting model, I believe.